rotation on this thunderstorm right now, and it looks like it's considerably weaker than it was earlier on uh, when this storm was a little more well developed. Um, would you say the same thing by what you're looking at? Yeah, I would. I would agree. Definitely. Probably 45 minutes ago, we uh, caught a glimpse of probably a ragged wall cloud type feature, but uh, has since uh, lost all visibility now, and I decided to just head on south and get out of the way of this thing. Okay, uh, that's a good option, and that's something that hopefully a lot of people are doing. Uh, thanks, Ian. We'll talk again probably with you here just a little bit later. We'll kick this back to the standard mode. So what we're dealing with, very, very massive hail that's moving into Morton and through Morton as we speak. We'll look at this storm as we stop it on the final frame here. We'll uh, look at it in 3D to show these hail cores. A lot of times we show these, and they're popping up to around 30,000 to 40,000 feet. This one, 50,000 feet, with the top of this thunderstorm approaching 60,000 feet. So that means even on a hot day, that's some very, very cold air aloft, which is how it's generating these massive hailstone sizes. Kick it to intensity mode on this. We're looking at the storm right over Morton. What return is this, Troy? Is this 65? That is 65. Cut it down. Let's find the highest. Is that 70? That is 73. Okay, at 25 to 30,000 feet, we have a return of 73, which has been consistent tonight with baseball plus sized hail. So that's still up inside the thunderstorm. And is this the latest scan right there? It's falling right on top of Morton right now. So if we're not getting baseball sized hail reports in and around Morton, we will be here in the next few minutes. And we had reports when this storm was up around Muleshoe of baseball sized hail, the softball sized hail busting out car windshields. And that could be one of many things related to the reasons why we have had some of the power outages here across the South Plains this evening is because of the massive hail and damaging not only cars, but infrastructure in a lot of these cities. Wind this back out. We'll do one more assessment for Lubbock County. Our storms are non severe. These storms, especially the storm around Morton, are rapidly accelerating toward the south. Watch how they're even. Now watch this western storm just go right there. That's some strong winds continuing to shoot out of this as it goes in the northern sections of Yoakum County. So Yoakum and Terry County will very soon be involved in uh, severe thunderstorm warnings because these storms are not weakening at all. The winds at the surface are actually flowing into them, so they are strengthening. And so because of that, we're going to continue to get these baseball plus size scale reports all the way down through Seminole and possibly even into the Permian Basin, which is part of the reason why we have we've had hail reports in Friona of baseball size out of this storm. We'll look 3D on this uh, thunderstorm to show that it is spiking up very, very high as we look at this from the south. It certainly is structured like a tor tornado producing or potentially tornado producing thunderstorm with uh, all the inflow shooting up to around 40 to 45 thousand feet and potential for baseball sized hail with this storm as it collapses a little bit. It's going through a cycle, which means it'll watch all these largest hailstones start to fall out of it and then attempt to revamp itself and restructure itself to where it could at some point in the near future potentially produce a tornado, which is why you want to take your tornado safety rules seriously. Go to the lowest portion of your home, cover yourself with blankets, pillows, make sure to find yourself an interior closet uh, or interior room of any sort and uh, just take this storm very, very seriously. Even though it hasn't produced a tornado, it could at any time. As we're just coming on there, as we'll look this back in 2D, they did issue a tornado warning for the county just north of this, including around the city of Hereford. Slightly wider view on this storm it does show that we do have what we refer to as a training echoes. Now you have one a potentially tornadic thunderstorm that's moving through and just south of Friona and heading in the direction of Laz Buddy. And then another one that's developed uh, near and just to the west of Hereford and could potentially follow the track of this storm along um, outflow boundary that's left from yesterday. So we have a string of storms we're really worried about for the northern South Plains. As for Lubbock and the remainder of South Plains, even though we're on a severe thunderstorm watch, no severe weather at the present time, these are the storms of interest. We're watching all these storms. Keep it with KLVK for the best coverage as we go throughout the evening.